Today I'm going to show you how to make a quiz. So I receive uh, questions from our colleague. So I'm just going to show you how to the question that posed our by our colleague few two days ago. Hmm. Maybe I enlarge it a bit so you can see clearly. So she asked two questions. Okay. First is to how do you post a quiz and a post is answer and is it possible that once the student submit their result, the program automatically give the marks for the student? Yes, it is possible. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So first thing first, go to your course page. Okay. So this is not my course, I'll show you some of one of the course. Okay. Go to your course. So this is the course. Okay. So let's say you want to add a quiz. Uh, in this section of your course. So what you need to do first is to turn editing on. So once you have turned on the editing, then you can start to add activity or resource to your course. So in this case, you need to add an activity Okay. And the activities that we want to add is a quiz. So you can see here, this is a quiz. So you just select the quiz. Okay. So there is a description about the quiz. So I suggest you to take time to go through this. So when you make a quiz, um, you also will, will automatically generate a questions which will be kept in the question bank. In the, in the smart UMS. At the same time, you also create an item in your grade book where the student can see their marks after the quiz. You, you also can uh, customize the quiz to have some feedbacks to the student. So once you select a quiz, you just click Add. So you should put the name, give a name for this quiz. Okay. Quiz about quiz one, let's say. Okay. You can write a description to test your understanding. One. Learning UMS. Okay. Then after that, you can set the timing when you want to open the quiz and when you want to cause the quiz. Set the time limit. Okay. So I'm not going to go through everything here because it's a lot. So I'll just show you a few things. So the next thing is a grade. Okay. So whether you allow the student to attempt um, many times before they create the submit button. Okay. So basically, we just it, it just the most important is the timing. Once you have set the timing, then for the rest you can leave it as default for the time being. If you notice that the quiz that you generate the you, is not uh, exactly what you want, you want to do more customization, then you can go through this option one by one. So if you don't understand, you can click this question mark. So there's a help button to explain what is each of these settings about. So you just click save and display. So now I have a create create a, a quiz and this is a quiz 
the name of the quiz and the description of the quiz. So and now I need to add question, right? So you, you click the edit quiz. The next thing is you want to set the total mark for this quiz. Let's say I leave it for 10 marks. So in this quiz, I want to make uh, three questions. So to create a new, then you have to create a new questions here. Okay, so you can see this is a question bank. So if you have um, created a quiz before uh, in this course or in other courses by using the same admin account, then you should be able to extract those questions from your question bank. So now we don't, I don't have any questions. So I need to create a new question. So there are many different types of questions. So I'm not going to show everything, but I think this is quite uh, each of this is quite self self explained. So you just select each of these, then they will explain what kind of the question uh, that you can create in the smart UMS. So the first one maybe I choose the easiest question, true or false. Okay, so I just select this one and add this question to my quiz. So when I have done this, then you put the name for the question. So this is not your question, but the name of the question. So what I can put is a question one. Then after that, you can write your question. Do you want to use Smart2, Smart UMS? So after that, you can put the mark. So in this case, I just put them. Um, so in, if you remember, for this quiz, we reserved the, we made a quiz of, uh, with a 10 credit mark. So for this question, I want to have two marks. Okay. And you can you can write a general feedback if you want. So then after that, you set the correct answer. Remember, this question is about true or false. So the correct answer for this one is true. Then I can write a feedback when the student uh, choose this answer. Okay. And also you can make a feedback for the other answer as well. After that, you just save and continue editing. Okay, then save change. You can have a preview if you want. So this is exactly how your student view the questions. Okay. You can close this one and save changes. Yeah, so now we have one question in our database, so you can add to the quiz. Just select it. Add to the quiz. So now I have the first questions, okay. and I can create another one. Let's say this one, which is the multiple choice, I can create it. So this is my Questions two. 
Why do you want to use smart tool in your teaching and learning? For this one, this question worth, uh, let's say, no, six marks. Okay. <coughs> in total, then for this multiple choice, there's a multiple answer. Okay. And then, so if you, after that, the choice one is, He will save my time in the management of the student and cost material. Okay. For example, this is if this is a correct answer, and this answer of a uh, uh, so the total mark, total mark is six. So maybe worth one third of the mark, two marks. So in this case, is thirty three point three three percent. So that means that this question worth two marks, thirty three point three three percent of the total of six. So the second choice is I do not need. I can skip the. By asking student to to their learn themselves to get the course. Material from Smart UMS. So this is another choice, but this is a wrong answer, so I will not give any grade. So the third one is um, it is an useful tool to engage student in the learning. So this is a correct mark, so I keep also two points. So let's say I put the other one. And at the same time, you can give the feedback for each of the question. If the student choose a question, you can give a specific question, uh, choose the answer. You can give a specific feedback for each of the answer that the student chose. So let's say the fourth one is um, It is a KPI for me and UMS. Again, this is a wrong answer, so I'm going to give any marks. So you can you can add more choice if you want, but in this case, I only made uh, five choices, and three of them are the correct answer. I can use it to monitor student learning progress okay so this is a correct answer so another two marks so after you have done this then you can save and continue editing <coughs> And you can have a preview. You can have a preview. Okay. No. So you have the multiple choice. Okay. You can cross the preview and save changes. So now you have two questions in your data pane, so you can select the second question 
and move to your quiz. And this is two marks, this is six marks. Maybe we add another question, the last one. So in this case, maybe I choose a question about the matching. Okay. Question. Three. E learning API for UMS. Okay, so the mark is two marks. So you just read carefully, you must power at least two questions and three answers. Okay. So the first question is um, API blended learning. So the correct answer is 50%. And the second question is uh, API or ER. So the answer is 25 courses. So I need to make a few more uh, wrong answer. So first one is 3 courses, no, sorry, 5 courses. So now I have two questions, then the student can choose the answer from these three uh, choices. So I can save and continue editing. So when you've done this, you can have a preview. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So this is a match bit matching. Okay, so cross the preview, set the changes. So I can select the quiz and move to the quiz. Okay. After that, I can save the quiz. So when I have uh, save the quiz, then you can move to the, the page, the course page, and you can see the quiz is here. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to turn off the editing. So this is how you can make a quiz. So the next thing I need to I want to show you is uh, from the student uh, view when when they try to do the quiz how the quiz look like. So I need to lock up first. I need to log in with the student account. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now I have logged in as a student. Then I need to search for my course. So the course is SP11002. Okay. Let's say the student have not enrolled into the course yet. So this is the first time they enroll. They need, they need to 
enroll into the course. If the student has already enrolled into the course, then when they create the course title, then they will automatically and go into the course page. Okay, so now this is from the student view. So student want to read the Kulia, the nature note, and post questions. And maybe now the student want to do a quiz that you just made. Up. Just take the quiz. So the first question. Do you want to use UMS? UMS? Yes. Second one, why do you want to use UMS in your teaching and learning? It is a useful tool, save time, skip the class. Next. So what are the KPIs? Okay. Yes. So they will show the number of the questions. So when the student have complete all the questions, he can choose to re return and check the answer before to the final before the final submission of the answer. So if the student is happy with his or her answer, then he can just submit all. Okay. So when the student have submit. It's no longer for him. It's, it's impossible for him to change the answer after this. Yeah. So immediately the student will get the feedback. Okay. For the first questions. Second questions. That questions. Okay. Yeah, so the student can click their mark immediately. Okay. And then when student return to the course page, they also can check their mark by using their grade book. Just click on the grade book, the student, then they will see their mark. Okay. Yeah. So I think I have answered all these questions. So how do you post a quiz and post this answer? So this is how we can do this. So and it's possible once the student submit the answer, the program automatically give the marks and also give the result to the answer or give the answer of the question to the student. So that's all. Thank you.